opens a transparent trading room for cutting EU red tape. Europe needs reform. How do you turn this into this? Well, we did it with a trick of the camera. But in the European Union, there's a plan to take 20 billion euros of public money and turn it into just over 300 billion euros of private investment in the European economy. We caught up with two MEPs to ask how it will work. What we're seeing in Europe is that there's a lack of investment. Uh, some estimate that there's an investment gap of over uh, 900 billion euros. What we see now is that uh, the European Commission is trying to, to fill up that gap with a new plan, uh, which would amount to 300 billion euros, uh, which will be uh, pumped into our European economy. The purpose of it is to address the economic problems of the European Union, namely lack of growth and unemployment. Yeah, it looks like magic. Eh? How, then, how can we turn 16 and 21 billion euros into 312? Um, the, the, the fact is simple. The, in, in fact, we're not looking at a bag of money, but we're looking at a guarantee fund. Eh? What is happening is we are trying to, uh, to encourage private investors to invest in our economy uh, and invest also in more riskier projects. And when something would go wrong, then Europe guarantees the first hit. The two areas which will be providing the funding are the research and development budget and what we call the Connecting Europe budget, that is money which is set aside for investment in infrastructure. Uh, we do have concerns that there will be some projects, particularly what we call primary research, research which is nowhere near the marketplace but nevertheless delivers good value and that research delivers great benefit to the United Kingdom by the way. Now we shall be seeking assurances from the Commission that a lot of that research will be ring-fenced and in other words the, 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 the guarantee funding will not be taken out of that particular pot. Normally they are going to set up a new system with uh, experts and the, and the entire question is will these experts be independent or not. Uh, what we are aiming for as an ECR group is making sure that these investments are decided on on an independent uh, way. We do not need a politicization uh, of the FC funds. We don't need politicians being investment gurus. What we need is uh, making sure that the, the money gets into projects that are economically viable. Uh, if we want the private sector to invest, we have to give them the guarantee as well that it will not be the politicians uh, who will decide where the money goes to, but real experts uh, giving money to real projects. It could work. Yes, it certainly could work. The devil is in the detail, so we have a great number of concerns which have got to be ironed out before it starts. But at the end of the day, it is actually all about confidence confidence in the marketplace and so I hope that this fund will send the right messages to the market and produce the right result. It's clear that uh, FC, the Juncker plan, the investment plan of Mr. Juncker is not the solution for our problems. Eh? It can be, uh, it can be uh, an, um, an useful means to kickstart our economy, but it's not the real solution. The only solution is structural reforms, and that is what we need. We need to make sure that our uh, labor market is flexible, that we have a social security system that we can afford and that is secure. Uh, we need to make sure that we are competitive. Uh, so uh, Mr. Juncker's plan can, uh, can be an, an, an addition to these uh, reforms, but uh, for us uh, there's only one thing that's uh, the real cure for our uh, uh, European illness and that is uh, structural reforms.